Hi folks, this is Wingman and today we're going to be doing a video gear review on a product called the Fire Puck. Now the folks at Fire Puck were nice enough to send me a few samples and I had the day off so I decided to take a drive up in the woods and we're going to do a video showcase of it for you. Uh, what we're going to do is just do a brief description and then we'll get into the practical application of it. You know, first and foremost, it's a nice package. It's a small round package, two inches in diameter. It's about an inch and a half thick. It weighs in at 60 grams. So this is small enough and light enough to go into, say, a survival kit. If you're a hunter, you know, you could put one or two in your backpack. If you're a fisherman, maybe put it in your tackle box. Hey, you're a camper. Keep one in the RV, keep one in your supplies, you know, when you go out and you need to light a campfire. Uh, you could also use it to light a barbecue, you know, your charcoal briquettes. If you have a chimney and you don't have, you know, wadded up newspaper or you don't want to use charcoal lighter fluid, you know, you could possibly, you know, use this. Now I have one that's open that I'm going to show you. And basically, here it is. It has a striker on top, and I'm going to remove the lid, and it has this fuel that's made out of solid, inorganic, and organic fuels, and it has a little striker button in the center. So what you would do is take it and skim it across the top, and this thing is going to light up like a road flare. Now, the fire puck people claim that this is going to burn at 1400 degrees temp for a little over two minutes and when it's done it's going to leave just ash so that's great you don't have a lot of trash to be packing out of the woods um, i see you know some of the applications of this being say you're a hunter or a fisherman you know you get wet it's cold temps are dropping uh, you have a potential hypothermic situation you're a hiker as well you know this may be the difference between you know suffering from the effects of hypothermia or making it through the night um, you know if you're a dad tasking to light the campfire and it's maybe wet and windy conditions hey you know you could strike this set it under your uh, kindling you're good to go you know if I'm I do a lot of Dutch oven cooking and I have a chimney where I use charcoal briquettes to basically you know heat my Dutch oven with well, instead of balling up newspaper, I can take one of these, strike it, put it underneath my chimney that's full of charcoal, put it on top, and then a couple minutes my charcoal is ready to go. You know, it doesn't smell like charcoal lighter fluid, or I don't have newspaper flying around that's half lit. Now, they're going to say that this burns completely down to ash. We're going to test this out. I'm going to prepare, you know, some kindling. I'm not going to get a full-blown fire up here, you know, in the in the woods cuz I got to be responsible, you know, the chance of wildfires and all. So, we're just going to get a fire going with some kindling. We're going to videotape it till it burns down and see, you know, how much ash residue is left over, and we'll let you decide if this is right for your kit. All right? So, we'll cut away. And the next shot will be with the fire prep and ready to go. Then we'll strike it and let's see what happens. Okay. So I got a little bit of wood prepped and yeah, it's not no big fire ready to go. I just want to illustrate how the fire puck works. And you know, we're out here in the middle of the national forest. You know, my intent is to cause some big wildfire. I just want to be able to showcase how the fire puck works and how fast it's gonna to take to light this kindling right here. So, like I said, it has the button, has the striker. They say to run this across it, and it lights just like a road flare. And look at that. We put it right underneath. And we're good to go. I gotta tell you that this thing looks like it burns just crazy hot and at 1400 degrees I could see how you could start a fire in no time with this so you know the applications that I could see this fire puck being used for like I said before you're in a survival situation you're wet darks coming temperatures dropping you know you're starting to shiver you're feeling the effects of hypothermia you know, I would break this out of my kit at that time, gather up enough 
kindling, enough tinder, and uh, try my very best to get a fire started. Now, they're claiming that this thing works even in high wind and even in wet conditions. And I have to say that without burning at 1400 degrees for over two minutes, you know, you're gonna have probably the best chance that you can have, you know, getting that fire going. Look at that, we're not even two minutes into this and you know, that fire is going. Let's zoom this in a little bit, right on the puck, look at that. I would have confidence carrying this in my survival kit, in my hunting kit, in my fishing tackle box. You know, if I'm backpacking, using this as a backup, like I said, you know, I do Dutch oven cooking, even to light the charcoal of my Dutch oven. You know, look how fast it burned that wood. Let's zoom out here a little bit. I mean, that fire's just raging. So I'm gonna leave the video running and I'm gonna let it burn down to where they say that it burns to ash. So what I might do here in a minute, depending on how long this burns, is cut away. And then when it burns out to ash, we'll uh, showcase that. You know, obviously if I was camping, I'd put more wood on this, but I just wanted to illustrate to you folks, you know, how well this worked as a fire starter. With that said, let me flip over this wood. I mean, that wood, I mean, that wood, you have surefire right there. You know, let me slide this over for a second. And let's take a look at the fire puck and let me use my knife. I mean, it burned down. I mean, it's still cherry in the middle of that. But, as you can see, it broke right down into ash. So I would definitely have confidence that the fire puck would give me a sure fire. You know, and that doesn't take away bringing a ferro rod or a magnesium bar, lighter, your cotton balls with Vaseline by any means. But, like we say, two is one and one is none and it's always good to have a backup plan whenever you go out in the woods. This is just one more thing. You know, an arsenal in your kit, you know, an arrow in your quiver whatever you want to call it, to uh, rise to the occasion in case, you know, an emergency happens or a situation arises. You just never know. You know, days that seem so innocent and benign, you know, wind up being life-threatening situations for uh, a lot of people out there. And that's where I think, you know, the fire puck is going to be a great addition to anyone's kit. So with that said, you know, I'm going to clean up this fire, put it out properly, and, you know, make leave no trace. And this is Wingman with the Fire Puck. Thank you very much for watching our video and joining us. And you have a great day.